Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Paul. In today's video, we're going to run through the Expedition 134 boxes. They're made by Open Spot Touring. We're going to run through some of the features, find out if they're worth it. They are tough as. Let's get to it. Open Sky Touring actually sent me these boxes about a year ago um, to do a review on it. It's been a long time coming, but I've been testing them out for a whole year now. They've been on top of my roof the entire time. Riverland climate, I really thought this colour here would fade and be basically white by the end of summer, but the colour has hardly changed at all, which has really surprised me. Um, I'll check out the stickers on my car, I'll put them on my car at the same time and have a look at the difference with the stickers. It's a huge difference. Um, now, there's multiple colours available too, you need different coloured lids, different coloured boxes, and so you can colour code whatever you've got in each box. Now, when they arrive, depending on how many you order, um, the lids will either be on or off. They stack them in each other and they put all the lids on top with the top one um, with the lid already connected. Now you'll find when you first get them, the lids are very tight to snap on. I found put them on a bit of an angle and give them a good hit on each latch and they'll go on. And this seal here will be nice and round when it's brand new as well. They recommend close it up, latch it for 24 to 48 hours before you use it. That sort of beds in the seal and gives it a nice, perfect seal that's going to last you forever and no water will get in. Now these lids have been purposely raised um, with these grids in here to make them stackable so they'll stack and lock on top of each other so they won't slip around. Um, also giving you extra stacking room in here and they've also reinforced the lids as well so as heavy as I am, I can stand on this, jump up and down on it, that'll hold 120 kilos, no worries at all. Now you have multiple mounting options for these boxes. You've got these round holes here. You can either drill those out, put some large body washers underneath it and nut and bolt it through to your straight to your roof cage. That way no one can get into the boxes to undo the nuts. So nut, they're very secure, no one can take them. Otherwise, you can just fit your straps straight over top here, which will be locked into these tabs here so your straps aren't gonna fall over the edges. But the best design about these boxes here, they come with these straps here. Just lock it into any of the sides Hook that straight in to your roof cage, tension it to where you want. Anytime you want to take it off, just undo the buckle and it'll come straight off. Um, and that way you're still able to access what's inside the box without having to undo your straps. So anytime you want, just jump on your roof, it's still attached, open it up, grab what you want, close it back up again. That simple. Now the latches themselves, comes with three latches. It's got holes in each latch here with another hole there. So once you've closed each latch, you can actually padlock the latch as well. So nobody's ever gonna get into this box. Unfortunately, it's come to the test I really haven't been looking forward to. It's a 14 degree day here. It's absolutely freezing. This water is gonna be really cold. I don't wanna do it, but I have to test these sewers for you guys. Now I know these are waterproof when they're brand new, but like I said, these boxes are a year old now. So let's see if I can fully submerge this box and it's still waterproof a year later. Now what I'm gonna do, let's rip off some paper toweling. We'll stick that inside the box. So I'll just layer it through the bottom. 
and then we'll close this up. I'm going to jump in the water, unfortunately, and fully submerge it, bring it back up, and then we'll come out and see if it's leaked at all. Oh my god! This water is ice! Oh, it is hurting! Oh. Let's get this over quick. Oh no, how far out do I have to go? Hope that should be deep enough. Let's do it. Hold on for a couple seconds. I should do it. Oh my God, my legs are going numb already. I hope you appreciate this. Open up, have a look. Look at that. There is not a single drop in there, and that seal is a year old and nothing. Bloody awesome. Now, I haven't always been running these. Um, I started out with the cheap five, ten dollar cheapest chips clear tubs. Um, they weren't too bad. You could throw everything in, you could see what was in it, but the trouble was they were so weak, um, they'd only last two or three trips and they just break. Um, or crack and I didn't like them at all. So you'd have to keep buying new ones Whereas this here will last you for years uh, Like I said, I've had this, had this on the roof the whole time hasn't faded the Sun hasn't made it brittle nothing this whatever this is made of It's durable as I'm so impressed with it um, I wasn't even gonna run these at first, but they contacted me to see if I would test them out for them and I was very surprised I, I, <laughs> It's not what I would have run on my car, but now I don't go anywhere without them. I absolutely love them um, if you'd like to check them out for yourself, I'll put the link down below um, for the Open Sky Touring website. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. If you've got any more questions about the boxes here, leave a comment. I'm happy to answer it for you. And any more ideas on products you'd like me to review in the future, leave a comment for that too. I love reviewing products, and I love hearing your feedback on them. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. But thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll catch you all next one. Cheers!